Alright, Scott Washi again here, and for this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create reference files specifically for character rigs. Now, creating a reference is basically looking at a file for a scene. Um, so you can easily go back and change like a character's UV map or rig um, or some of the mesh and it will update in your new scene. Uh, this is really good when you're doing big animations where you want to start animation early and or just place props around early and then edit them later or um, you know re UV them later or what have you and uh, so you'll be able to you know get the flow better now you can do this with character rigs or just objects um, for this tutorial I'm just gonna show you how to do the character rig so what we have right here is just the rig that we have created and we are going to reference this. So first off we're just going to create a new scene and then we're going to go file create reference and that will ask us which uh, uh, scene we want to reference and so I selected the rig. Now when you're referencing you want to make sure to have that scene you're referencing to have only the items and props that you wish to reference so you don't want to have like another character over on the side or a box or something like that alright so when we reference it it just comes in exactly the same uh, important information if you have any animation information like keyframes and stuff they will transfer as well and they won't be deletable so you want to make sure to delete all animation information before you create a reference and that's the gist of it there are a couple other things so I'm going to show you some of the options to go along with creating reference um, so if you go file create reference and then do its option box you'll get this big list right here uh, some of the options to keep aware of are lock if you have that selected then the rig or object will come in and you won't be able to move it or anything so it'll lock it down group which will have it come in under a group and if you have locator selected you'll have a locator with its name attached to it when it pops in um, also uh, if you have shared nodes selected over here you could import the layers with it the sh shading networks and any render layers that you wish now also under name class options if you have used namespaces selected this is key if you are importing multiple things that may have the same name for the meshes or the bones or whatnot and so you want to have it automatically fix that for you so you won't have any mess um, now by default it just says all nodes with the file name but if you change it to the string you can set it to whatever name you want to have for it and so in this case I put spider so the bone that comes in is a is called root it'll come in under as spider colon root. Alright, so now I'm going to create my reference to the rig. And here it is. So let's select root bone actually, and you'll see spider root right there. Um, and that's basically it. So now when we save this out, it'll create a new scene and won't actually mess with the old scene that you referenced at all. So um, if you open the file then it'll go looking for the old referenced file. So that's what that did right there. And now I will I'm gonna move the file real quick to show you what happens if you transfer this reference scene over to a new computer and it's not in the exact location because you have a different news name or something. Alright, so what I did was I just moved the file up one location and when I go to open the new scene it will say the reference file not found. So what you could do in this situation is just browse for the file. Um, you could also skip over it if you don't need it for some reason. But here are a couple options. You can make the path changes permanent so it will always remember for that file to look in the new location 
before it and you can also set remember these settings so um, so it'll the Maya will actually always look for the reference file in that location All right so there it is and it reads it and voila and that's basically it so thanks a lot